just got back from a lovely trip to the beach. Perfect weather for it. Hi, welcome to another Wednesday. Today I thought I would broadcast the first ever episode of the Secret Beta Chronicles. Just in case you've ever wondered what a beta does, how a beta lives their life, now you're going to find out. The very, very first lesson is that it never stops. It never turns off. So beware if you ever go to a movie with me because if it's not good, I'll be sitting there complaining about the drafting and that character's dialogue is crap and the plot is structured so badly. Yeah. But it also happens in reading as well. And I have case in point. I like to point a lot, don't I? Sorry if that's rude. Just finished reading this book, which is the second in a series. The Skullduggery Pleasant Books by Derek Landy. They're a lot of fun. There's a lot of action and excitement and the plots are well structured and the dialogue is fantastic. I mean, and there's some real sort of smart ass dialogue, which I love, with the main character. I do like stuff about this book, but the action scenes are so boring. Seriously, my eyes glaze over and I'm like, oh, can I just skip the pages and see who won this or see whose limbs got broken? I thought I would take this paragraph here. She hit the side of the hill and started to roll. The ground leveled off and she hit a patch of briars that tried to get in at her through her clothes. The headlights came around the bend and she flattened herself, the briars tearing at her hands and hair. She dragged herself through as the headlights hurtled towards her. All the elements are there, okay? But to me, it just reads like a list. And as a beta, I look at some things, really, really basic things on the page, actually. She, the, the, she. Four sentences, two start with the, two start with she. That screams to me variety. Mix it up. It needs more chaos. It should be mad. It should be confusing. I had a go at writing it a different way. Mine's a little bit longer and a little bit messier. So instead of a list, what I wanted was more feeling. How does it feel to hit the hill? How do the briars feel as they're tearing through her skin? You know, how does it feel to know she's being pursued? Then the hill smacked into it, bruising cruelty, and she started to roll. Breathless, desperate, determined, she let momentum push her onwards until the ground leveled off into a patch of briars. The claws grabbed at her, trying to get in at her through her clothes. She couldn't break free. The more she tried, the more the claws tore at her hands. Then the headlights rounded the bend. There was no choice. She tried to keep calm, her frantic heartbeat, and she threw herself into the briars and dragged herself through them to escape her pursuers. So the last bit, I would work on a bit more. But the first bit, I think, answers more of what's required. There's more feelings, like she feels as though the hills hit her, because the line just before it is something like, the world disappeared and she was falling, which is really, really good. And then you just get that list of what's happening. So that's what I do when I'm bearing. And it doesn't turn off. So I would totally beta books that are published. So that was the first episode of The Secret Chronicles of a Beta. Or was it The Secret Beta Chronicles? Either way, it needs a better name. I have to go off and have a cup of tea and get warm. And I don't know, read another book and see if I can critique it. Okay, have a great week. And I'll see you next Wednesday, hopefully.